This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about our main event. Let's talk about Brock Lesnar defending his world title against Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is no longer the fan favorite. Once upon a time, he was everyone's favorite member of the shield, but they're down on him now. They're booing in a big way, but they have a huge match here. Uh, pulling out all the stops. This is one of the places we first hear about suplex city, bitch. And, uh, 16 minutes and 44 seconds is what we've got. It looks like it's going to end very quickly when they're going straight four F fives. There is some, some blood here at a time where we don't think there's supposed to be blood allowed. And then randomly of all things, Seth Rollins cashes in his money in the bank opportunity. And when it's all said and done, Seth Rollins wins the world title. Four and a half stars, uh, quite a big twist. Meltzer loved it. He says the win by Rollins serves a number number of purposes. It gets the title off of Lesnar. So it can be back in play while Lesnar takes the next few months off without beating Lesnar and hurting the company's huge money investment. It's also clearly not the time for Reigns to win more because of crowd reactions, because he wasn't Daniel Bryan, whether Reigns was being booed more than cheered as a face on television will hurt his career going forward. Or if he's turned and if the booze go away, he was clearly hurt this year by the company's insistence on not breaking title plans for the second straight year to acquiesce to the local or the the most vocal portion of the fan base. So it serves a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, purposes, I guess, to, to do it this way. I thought the finish was good. The internet loved it. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it was creative. It was a great way to end the show. Um, Roman Reigns, <clears throat> what he showed you in that match, I don't know if anybody got it. They're going to say, got his ass kicked. Yep, sure did. And you know what? He kept getting up. Brock Lesnar must have suplexed him 20 times. Every Every shot across the shoulders with a forearm, every kick in the head, every punch was in there. Both guys were proving a point within a work. They were proving a point to themselves. They were proving a point to each other, and they were proving a point to the audience because that's the way they wanted to structure the match. Roman sold 80% of the match, I would say, probably. But he sold in a way that you never thought that he was just staying down, wasn't still in the fight, wasn't trying to win the match. But Brock was just dominant, and and that's what Brock does. And uh, the reality is, you know, Brock Lesnar is just a animal, and he's a machine, and nobody's going to do anything out there that Brock doesn't allow to happen. And uh, I don't think anybody got juice because number one, I don't think Lesnar would even consider it. If you told him you needed him bleeding, he'll just run headfirst into a post. Hell, I've seen it. I don't think you can hurt the guy. I don't think he's ever been hurt. I don't think you can hurt him. He's a freaking cyborg. And if he was bleeding, it's because he ran face first into something, didn't put his hands up. Um, And I thought by bringing Seth down, you created a lot of controversy. Didn't see that coming. It was a way to get a a clean finish. And... uh, Something like that, screwing uh, Roman that badly, actually helps him. You feel sorry for a guy like that. It's like, my God, how many other things can you throw on top of him? You got you just dumped a pile of rocks, and now you're going to dump the truck over on top of him too. My God. So, so I think it helped. And uh, you know, if you go back and and check Roman's history when he's with the Shield, the reason. Roman was over is because he was a kick-ass Samoan, and if he said anything, it was, hey, believe that, and he went out and showed you it was something to be believed. You know, the build with Roman Reigns was all wrong. Suffering succotash will go down as a huge mistake that the guy was made to say, and uh, most of it is not his fault the way the fans have treated him, you know. Trust me, guys, he he didn't come through that curtain without being given direction. And he didn't do these promos without somebody handing him a sheet of paper that it was written on. So uh, 
I've seen a different Roman Reigns. I've seen him go through 25-minute matches with Braun Strowman and them tear the joint down, and Braun took 90% of the match. And uh, Roman was just able to hang in there, and at the end of the night, they were cheering for Roman Reigns. Unless you've seen those live events like I have and him put under circumstances that he's put under where he has to dig his way out and see how he turns an audience in the course of 30 minutes. You know, once you've seen that, you look at him completely different. Nothing but respect for Roman. He continues to be a, a huge stalwart of their company and a, and a, just a hell of a damn workhorse. And uh, hats off to him. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.